Emma Roberts has been starring in movies since she was only 9 years old. She is the daughter of actor Eric Roberts and the niece of the one and only Julia Roberts. You may have seen her in Aquamarine, American Horror Story, and even alongside Jennifer Aniston in the comedy film We're the Millers. However, she gained a bad reputation in Hollywood over the years. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie, your host for today's video as we talk about our top 10 celebrities that warned us about Emma Roberts. At number 10, we have Angelica Ross. These two actresses co star in the hit show American Horror Story. Ross was featured on season 9 and 10, making her the first transgender actor to actually have two series regular roles on network television. While over the past few days, Ross has actually been speaking out about her experience working with Roberts and how she treated her. In fact, she even added on to why she didn't share her story earlier as she felt like it was safe to do so now due to the strike. Ross also took it to Instagram Live and now even X to share her side of the story when she was filming American Horror Story. Ross claims that Roberts misgendered her on set and even further described a time where Roberts told the director Ross was being mean to her. The director told the two ladies to be polite and Emma apparently clapped back with, don't you mean lady? Especially because Angelica is trans, this comment has been seen as very offensive and a way to invalidate her gender identity. Angelica also shared what she was feeling during this time and she said, I'm standing there, she walked away, and my blood is boiling. I'm afraid that if I say something, it'll be me and that's the problem. And I know this because someone spoke out about what she was doing and they suffered as a result. They did it, not her. When I saw that happening, I just thought, I'm done. I didn't speak to that for the rest of the time. So we had scenes together, but I never said anything to her. She told me she could feel the energy escaping from me. Are you okay? She asked. You haven't been saying anything. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. It seems like in the past, anyone who has discussed Robert's behavior was the one to get in trouble. Ross also claimed a lot of the actors, quote, wanted to fight her all the time. Well, Angelica actually updated the public on X by tweeting, thank you at Emma Roberts for calling and apologizing. Recognizing your behavior was not that of an ally. I will leave the line open to follow up on your desire to do better and support social justice causes with your platform. And for number 9, we have Ariana Grande. The two were co-stars on the show Scream Queens back in 2015. There were rumors circulating that these two girls were not getting along on set and a source told Hollywood Life, Emma and Ariana are all already butting heads and they haven't even shot a scene together yet. The source further added, Emma heard that Ariana doesn't want anyone to have cell phones on set and the rumor really upset her. She ended up losing it during a rehearsal while heatedly telling a producer how upset she was. Her fiance Evan Peters was there and had to try and calm her down, but she ended up storming off the set. Although these rumors were never verified, there were a few videos of these two girls that some believe had visible tension and awkwardness. In a video titled Between Two Queens, Ariana Ariana and Emma are asking each other questions for the interview. However, many have said you can cut the tension with a knife and other comments even talked about how they're so awkward they either just met or absolutely hate each other. Moving on to number 8, we have Leah Michelle. This actress is in many shows like Glee and of course Scream Queens. Apparently there has been sources both denying and supporting these rumors surrounding the alleged conflict on set. According to an In Touch magazine source, they claim the two are always at each other's throats and stated, it was a clash of personalities from the beginning. The weeks went on, things got more heated, and they started calling each other names. However, some of their Instagram posts seem to debunk these claims as Emma would refer to Leah as her work wife. And early this year, Emma was asked about the rumors surrounding Leah's illiteracy and not being able to read, which Emma responded with, I mean, we've never been in a book club together, which many thought she was just poking fun at Leah rather than meaning any harm whatsoever. And for number seven, we have James Franco. In a 2015 interview James and Emma did with the magazine, he was discussing his on screen role romance with Emma as they played love interest in Palo Alto and I Am Michael. He used this opportunity to compare the on-screen kisses the two shared between their two films. Franco said, So now I'm going to embarrass you. I felt like our kiss was better in the second movie than in Palo Alto. So either you got better at kissing or I was thinking maybe you were just being an amazing actress. Emma replied and said, Maybe I'm an amazing character actress. I didn't realize you were paying such close attention on both movies. Or maybe I would have done it differently. Apparently after the comments Franco made, the two were reportedly no longer on speaking terms. It seems like Emma kept it professional as she didn't further add anything to the fire or get back at James with any secrets. And for 
number six, we have Evan Peters. Peters is best known for his portrayal of Jeffrey Dahmer in Monster: The Jeffrey Dahmer Story, as well as played 16 different characters in American Horror Story. Well, Evan was once upon a time engaged with Emma, but they definitely did not have a typical romance. The two walked their first red carpet together as a couple back in January of 2013. However, quickly following their debut, Emma was reportedly arrested due to domestic violence against Peters only seven months later in July of 2013. Roberts and Peters' representatives said it was an unfortunate incident and misunderstanding. Miss Roberts was released after questioning and the couple are working together to move past it. Then following this arrest, Peter actually proposed to Roberts and the two got engaged in January of 2014. But in June of 2015, the couple called off their engagement. While the couple apparently were on and off during the relationship before finally calling quits for good in 2019. After Emma's release from her arrest in 2013, the paparazzi captured Evan actually trying to comfort her despite the alleged actions she has done against him. It's clear the two had their differences in the relationship that seemed extremely toxic. And for number 5, we have Cord Overstreet. This actor played Sam on Glee and also had an on and off relationship with Roberts from 2011 to 2012. Well, according to some sources, Roberts wasn't treating her relationship with much respect. They stated, Emma calls him cord, pronounced like chair, to his face. She acts like he's really dumb. And obviously, no one wants to be treated less than, especially by your own partner. Another source said cord was waiting outside the CAA party at Sunset Tower, waiting for Emma to come get him at the door. Emma was apparently ignoring his text messages on purpose, and the source claims to have overheard Overstreet say Emma does this all the time when she doesn't want to see me. After all this, cord never made it to the party, and apparently, Emma was seen crying and visibly upset about the situation as it was clear to others they have gotten into a fight over this. In fact, another source claims it isn't easy to be in a relationship with Emma. They didn't further elaborate on what that meant, but it is clear there is a pattern when it comes to off and on again relationships Emma gets herself involved in. For number 4, we have Jamie Lee Curtis. The two actresses worked together on Scream Queens in 2015, and just like the other actors who worked on that series alongside Roberts, Curtis reportedly couldn't even stand being in the same room as her. In fact, many people allegedly complained about Robert's quote, notoriously bad attitude, and even her epic ego. One report claims after Jamie Lee saw Emma being snotty to the crew and showing up late, she sat her down for a talking to. And if you're wondering how that talk went, well, apparently the staff and crew members noticed a difference in Robert's behavior as she was apparently more polite. And for number three, we have her own aunt, Julia Roberts. Julia has been an icon for her roles throughout her career in films such as Pretty Women, and well, Julia and Emma are related since Emma's her niece. Well, apparently back in 2013, many were worried about Emma's behavior as she was seen as wild. At this point in her career, she was getting arrested, having catfights with her co-stars, and even apparent outbursts. One source told TMZ at the time, quote, We're told it all started after she broke up with Glee star Cord Overstreet. She began going out all night, hitting the clubs, and surrounding herself with people who don't keep their noses clean. While her aunt Julia was reportedly scared her niece was going to become the next Lindsay Lohan in terms of her career and Emma's reputation. The source also said Julia called a family meeting following Emma's arrest as she believed her behavior was getting out of control and wanted it to stop before it was too late. Emma allegedly hates it when people compare her to Lindsay Lohan, but I'm sure her aunt just had good intentions for her niece. And for number two, we have Gabriel Sadaib. If you're guessing the two were feuding behind the scenes of American Horror Story, you would be absolutely correct. We all know by now it doesn't seem like Roberts has a squeaky clean record for how she acts once the cameras have turned off. One source from Star Magazine stated, Emma complains about the tiniest things and won't speak to crew members. Gabby finally told Emma to cut her attitude and stop being rude. The source further said the confrontation apparently scared the 22 year old off a little bit because the source said that she's at least been a little nicer to the crew, although she still acts like she's above everyone else. This situation sounds almost identical to Jamie Lee Curtis's experience with Emma as well. And for our number one spot, we have Rachel Bilson. Surprisingly, this wasn't due to backstage behavior but because of an apparent love triangle that went on between these two ladies as well as Hayden Christensen. A source confirmed to US Weekly that Emma was at the center of Bilson and Christensen's split. According to The Blast, Rachel found text messages between the two as they were co-starring in the film Little Italy, which led Rachel to believe they were involved in an inappropriate relationship. In fact, Rachel and Hayden were dating for 10 years before that, which is a long time. The two were actually at the same Refinery29 event a few days following this altercation. Apparently, Rachel was mortified when she noticed Emma at the same event, but it seems like the two were able to completely avoid each other.
other without making the tension obvious. It seems like Emma's been called out for her behavior in the past, but it appears like things didn't necessarily change for the better in long term, as she did get herself in recent controversy with Angelica Ross. It is quite common to hear about actors and actresses not only being who they appear to be on stage. Do you think Emma Roberts has finally learned her lesson following the recent situation? We would love to hear from you below. Oh, 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 oh,